Good morning, timeless travelers. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Today, we are in Busan, South Korea. We are have no plans today <laughs> uh, other than to find KFC. That's right, Korean fried chicken. So we're going to get off the ship, take the shuttle over into the city, and see what we can find, see what we can do, find some street food, maybe ride, this, um, maybe ride the um, cable car. I don't know. We'll just figure out what we're going to do today. It's really cold. It's only like 30 degrees here in Busan, so we're going to bundle up and get out of here. All right, let's go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So here is the city of Busan. Like I said, we have to take a shuttle um, from the port into the city area. I don't know what the difference is between over there and over here with this bridge. Um, it's a lot of um, industrial looking equipment out here. So I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and head out into the city and see what we can see. All right, we are off the ship. So here's a ship behind me at the terminal. Stopped here to exchange a little cash for um, some Busan cash. And then we are going this way, down um, that little walkway down there. And I don't know if you see that bus all the way down at the end. We're gonna go that way and head toward the hop on hop off bus so that we can get into Busan area. So if you see um, over the top of these buses is where the city is. So we're gonna go walk down there. Um, I found a couple that we're all gonna just kind of walk together and head down there and see if we can find the hop on hop off bus. All right guys, so I just came out of this station and now I am in the city of Busan. So I didn't bring the camera out until I figured out where I was because I was wandering around aimlessly for 15 minutes trying to figure out how to get out of the station. It was a, you could come out and it was a train station, bus station, all kinds of stuff to come out of this station right here. And I was like, that's not what I want. I just want to come out of the station into the city. And I finally figured it out. So now I'm out here. So I am going to now start actually vlogging what I see um, in front of me. So I'm gonna take some pictures in front of this Busan sign and then I'm gonna start walking and figure out what I'm what I'm doing like I said no real plans today just wandering and I might hop on a bus um, and go to a different part of the city but we'll, we shall see I don't know where I'm at yet so we figure it out so now that I'm lower it's a better understanding of the station you see how big it is like so now that I'm outside like I said I'm gonna take a picture over here in front of this sign and then I'm gonna start walking over here figure out where I'm at and what I'm doing. So I found this cute little photo op place right here. Still um, in the courtyard area of the bus station or the station. So I'm about to cross the street over here. It is cold. It's not like terribly cold, but as soon as the wind starts blowing, I'm like, ooh, I hate it here. So, um, but I'm gonna try to push through and do a little bit of sightseeing before I run back to the ship. Cause, ooh child, it's cold. <clears throat> but, I'm gonna do a little sightseeing before I run away. So, we'll see what's up this little alley up here. I'm trying not to get run over. I don't know where I'm at. I just I'm just walking. So we'll see. So I'm looking down this little alley and I can't determine whether or not it looks seedy or interesting. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. 
I'm gonna give it about four stories in. And if it start looking seedy, then I'm gonna come back out. Cute little photo ops uh, over here. It doesn't look like a whole lot is open yet though. It's about 10 in the morning, so I don't know yet. I guess we'll see. So again, this is when it starts getting like, is it seedy or is it interesting? Then you start seeing massage parlors and uh, okay, so it says Chinese restaurant. I think we're in Chinatown. I think. I think we're in Chinatown. But again, ain't many people down this little dark alley, so I think I'm gonna turn around. I see some interesting stuff in front of me. I might keep going. But yeah, it's not a lot open yet. So it gives the appearance of seating, even if it isn't, because there isn't anything open. But I think, pretty sure, I'm in Chinatown. <clears throat> So yeah, another little massage parlor. Yeah, I think I'm in Chinatown. All right, let's let's figure our way out of here. Cause I didn't come to Busan to go to Chinatown. All right, so I figured out where I want to go, and I figured out how I'm gonna get there. So there's Busan Station where I just came from. I'm going the opposite direction that I came from when I just went into Chinatown and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna hop on the bus and I'm gonna go to the market and then I, that way I can look for food and souvenirs and then catch the bus back and head back to the ship so that's the plan we're gonna go over there and hop on the bus so it seems like the buses run pretty frequently it's just a matter of getting on the right bus and not getting myself lost. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Plus, I don't know the currency, so I gotta figure that out too. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna get on the bus and we're gonna figure it out. So I hopped on the bus, took a guess of where it was going. Guess what? Got off at a market, and not the market I was looking for. <clears throat> Not what I was actually looking for. Uh, so I did not guess correctly. So I'm just out here wandering around in these Busan streets trying to figure my life out. So I'm going to look down this road down here. I think what I'm looking for might be down there. If it is, great. If it ain't, I'm getting back on the bus and going back. Because I'm cold. I don't mind wandering. I really don't. I don't care about wandering. But I don't like being cold. So I'm going to go down this road and see if what I'm looking for is down here. And hopefully it is. If not, it's fine. I'm going to head back and then just buy some souvenirs at the station. So now I'm really devastated because I found my KFC. But it ain't open. <laughs> I have found my crispy, my Korean chicken, my Korean fried chicken, but it ain't open. Oh well. Such is life. Well, I guess we're gonna jump back on the bus, head back toward the station. I mean, we came, we saw, we did a little <laughs> of nothing, really. And now we're headed back. So we're gonna go back to the station and figure it out. Aw, I feel sad. Alright y'all, so I'm back at Busan Station. I got off way past where I was supposed to get off, so that's, that's the first thing that happened. Then, uh, when I got on the bus to come back, he was like, uh, you need to pay. So I put my card up there, and he was like, your card didn't work. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. So I got the cash out, I paid with the cash. 
So that means my car didn't work when I was on the first bus because it made the same sound, made the same signal. But I didn't know it didn't work because the bus driver didn't say anything. So I did basically stole a ride going into town. Didn't get the fried chicken I was looking for. It, Busan has been a whole situation. So I'm going back into the station now, find my souvenirs that I was looking for, and then I'm going back to the ship. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, so basically I got back to the station, bought a couple of souvenirs at the different stores here around the station. And now I am going back out the way I came because I remember this Krispy Kreme right here was the way I came in. So I'm going back out the way I came and going back across this sky bridge thing. So I hate bridges. I hate bridges, but it's the only way to get back over there. So <clears throat> without paying $20, for a shuttle so that was the thing so um, i'll probably explain that when i get back to my room it's it's crazy how the cruise ship try to get you but so this little bridge over here it actually walks over the street level so i'm gonna kind of come over here so you can see what i'm talking about so from here you go over there and then it goes straight across from there so it walks over all of this street level down here. <clears throat> and so um, this is how you can get over to this side to get to the train station, bus station, or just out into the city where I was at, um, where you can jump in a cab or a bus or whatever you wanna jump into. But if you walk, it's like a five, 10 minute walk to go across this little bridge area. Well, the, the bridge itself is like a couple of minutes walk, but it's like a three or four minute walk from the bus terminal, I mean, from the uh, cruise terminal to get to this little bridge. So there's the ship in front of me. So, you see the ship right there in front of me. There's the bridge that goes across. So, you start from here, go over there, and then you go down, and you're on the other side across the bridge. So, I will show you a little bit more when I get a little closer. So it makes sense. Okay, so here's the street underneath me. And then you're going to cross the bridge over the street area right here and then in front of you right there is where you go even further across to get to the street level <clears throat> excuse me to get to the street level to get to the cruise ship so if you see that little taxi meter right there that's where they come into the cruise parking lot to pick people up. And that's where the shuttle buses, all of that come in to the parking lot. So this gets you over the street level by going up through here because of all the construction that's going on down there. You walking over this sky deck, that's what they call it, to get across the street to get to the station. And the station is the junction where you can get out and get in a cab, take the bus, or take the train. Now, this bridge right here goes across over to that, but we don't need to do that because we are going down the stairs right here to get to where that to go into the cruise port parking lot. So I'm gonna cross over just so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's the ship in front of me and there's the parking lot that just walks down right there. So we don't have to go all the way over there to get in 
when we can just walk right across the park. So that's why we're not going all the way down there to get off. We're just going to get off right here. So I'll be right back. All right, we on the ground level now. I wasn't trying to fall down a million stairs talking and looking through my camera lens. So the cruise port parking lot is right in front of me now that I've come down the stairs. So what I was saying was I didn't have to go all the way over there to get to that building because my ship is right here. So I just had to come down the stairs and then it's about a four or five minute walk from here to the cruise terminal. So this is the part that I didn't show you guys when I got off the ship because I was standing over there on that corner spinning around in circles trying to figure out which way I was supposed to go. And then I finally made the executive decision because I actually left the people I was with. I made the executive decision to just go up there and go across because I felt like that was the right way to go. And they were still standing on the corner and reading maps and I just left them. So we are headed back to the ship now. So I'll see you guys when I get back on the ship. Okay, so I'm back on the ship. <clears throat> so now I can tell you what I was going to say about the cruise ship and then what happened after that. So the cruise ship is charging $20 per person to take a shuttle one way into the city. Um, so for people who have like mobility issues or whatever, that makes perfect sense. But it's literally a like a 10 minute walk to walk across to go over to the other side to get into the city and then you can take whatever transportation you want from there um so 20 dollars for a shuttle I, at first i was like okay they said it was like 30 minutes to get to the city center or whatever and i was like okay you know 20 dollars, okay and then when i walked out there i was like oh okay so basically if people hadn't done their due diligence and like researched it they got got that's the same thing that happened the other day at kagoshima they were charging $25 for a bus shuttle because it was 30 minutes outside of the port to get to the city center. But if you walked literally right outside, there was an $8 tram that you could take for the entire day all over the city. So people just had to do their due diligence, what they're doing. Now, here's the thing that just really pissed me off. So I exchanged money at that little center as I was leaving out. I got more than I needed because I was planning on doing some shopping and then eating while I was in Busan. Well, I wound up not eating, so that was the bulk of my money right there. They have a buy and sell sign when you come in, so you can exchange it for US dollars and then exchange it back. When I went to exchange it back, he pulled the US dollars out, laid it on the table, but then he kept clicking on something on the computer and talking to the other guy in Korean, and then they were like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't exchange it back. And I was like, what? So I went and got the uh, information person from the cruise ship and brought her out there to translate because I was like, no, explain this to me because you got a sign with both things up there. If you can't do both, why do you have a sign up there for both? And he was like, oh, we can't do it here. You have to go back over to the cruise terminal and do it. Remember where I was at on the bridge and I said, if you go down further, you would be at the cruise terminal, but I didn't have to go that way because all I had to do was walk across the parking lot to the Western Dam. Yeah, way back over there. It was only like eleven dollars in you know in difference, but it was just the point of <laughs> why do you have a sign up there saying you can exchange it back if you if you can't? Anyway, rant over. Back on the ship, Busan was cool. If I had a little bit more time and had more of a direction of what I was doing, it probably would have been a better day. But since I didn't really have any idea what I was doing and I really wasn't concerned about this port, I just wanted to get out, walk around, see it, and then get back on. It was a cool day. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, even though it was short and was kind of all over the place and I was basically lost the whole time. <laughs> if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway. Support the channel. Thanks for watching and we hope all your travels are timeless. Bye-bye.